Hey guys, I'm Sari from Fulbright Farmstead. I thought today I'd take you guys milking with me. So let's get set up. This is my handy dandy little tote. My husband actually made this for um, delivering gallon jugs of milk to people, but it also works good in this case. This is a dry, clean towel for drying off the udder. This is my little, little bitty milk bucket. Um, my friend actually got this for my kids um, as a gift one year, but it's stainless steel and it works really good for the sheep because they're so short. My main milking bucket, it's way, way too big. Uh, a little bit of lard just in case I need it on the used teats. I'm gonna fill this with soapy water. This will be my wash jar and rag. I just had a couple used fresh in yesterday and I have one that has a very full udder still. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to melt some colostrum out of her. So that's what this jar is for. This jar is for my other two ewes that I'm milking. I milk into the bucket and then I dump it in here in between ewes or if they're being naughty. This is for my milk to filter. I got a nice milk filter there, it works really great. And then this is to filter the colostrum. These filters do not work at all for colostrum. It just, it's too thick, it won't go through. So I found that cheesecloth works really well. I filter it, then it's clean. I have it in the freezer for next year if I need it for lamb. So that's what that's for. And then this pot is for doing an ice water bath. So. I'll get my jars of milk filtered, put a lid on them, and then I will stick them in here and I'll add some ice packs and some cold water and I'll stick them in the sink to chill down before I put them in the fridge. That's a very important step. Let's pack up and head out to milk. What are you doing? Hey, what? I got to get nutmeg on the head. You did? Well, kind of like this. And I got to hold my hand out and she sniffed it. And I petted her like two times on her head. Yes. And I it's petted, well, Bella. All right, so just a warning before we go in. I'm a little late getting out to milk this morning. So it's probably going to be really loud. Everyone's going to be yelling and mad. So prepare yourself for that. There's Ginger waiting patiently. We'll get to her after the sheep. Hello, everybody. First things first, let's kick some sheep out that don't need to be in here. Hi, mamas. <laughs>
first time milking her. Alright, well I got a full pint. I'm gonna call that good out of her. And I have a little lamby. She's stuck. <laughs> this lamb he was born yesterday he's a twin and he just doesn't seem like he's thriving um, doesn't seem like he wants to suck he felt like he had a full belly so last night so I'm not really sure what went wrong with him but I'm taking him back to the house with me with my milk I'm gonna see if I can get him to take a bottle since I milked his mama and if not I will tube him and see if we can get him going I'm back, heading out to the barn to milk the cow. So this morning got a little uh, wild and didn't exactly go as to plan, but isn't that how it always goes? So I had the extra ewe to milk this morning. So that also kind of threw a wrench in my regular 
routine. And then I found a lamb that wasn't doing well. So I took him in and I have him warming up by the wood stove and I fed him a bottle, which he did feed or he did eat all that I gave him, which was a couple ounces of his mama's milk. So that's a good sign. And now I'm gonna go reunite these lambs with their mamas because I didn't do it earlier because I was worried about that lamb. So let's go get these guys put back together. are all being greedy, not really wanting to share. The beginning of milk season is always interesting to say the least. usually don't have a problem this early in the milking game. She's only about, I don't know, a week fresh, something like that. I have to look back at the calendar. Um, and yeah, usually when they're that young, they're not chewing them up, especially because the calf is on her 24 seven. I don't separate them this early. So usually what I do with my cows is I milk them uh, for as long as I can because usually you know they hit peak lactation at six weeks post freshening so I usually milk them for most of that time and then from that time on the calf can pretty well uh, just take care of them oh. 
So I usually melt for about the first six weeks because that's when they have the most milk. And it becomes this fun game of, am I gonna get any milk? Or is the calf gonna get it all? Sorry, I'm breathing hard. I was trying to wash that really, really fast. So anyway, and you'd be surprised at how quickly the calves figure out what time you're gonna come out and take their milk. And this calf has definitely figured it out quickly. He's been leaving me one quarter pretty much from the very beginning, which is pretty crazy. But anyway, I will do that for, I don't know, about another month at least, or until he's taking all of the milk, and then I'll start separating him at night as often as I need milk. So that might be once a week, that might be every night. It just depends on what we're doing with the milk, how much we're going through, and how busy we are, which in the summertime with the garden and all that, we're usually pretty busy. So I usually just do it once or twice a week and we get plenty of milk that way. And then late summer, early fall, I'll go ahead and wean him and then milk full time. So yeah, let's uh, gather up our stuff and go get everybody turned out and then check on that lamb. See, I have an escapee over there. Oh yeah. There's the milk shed. All right. Hello, Jojo. Hello, everybody. All right. Look at Jeej. She's waiting. Let's go turn her out. Come on. Hey, you're gonna have to back up a little bit. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Go on. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Come on, everybody out. Out you go. Go on, sue, sue, sue. Go on. Hey, go with everybody, sue. I thought of a few more things that I wanted to talk to you about really quick. Um, so you might have seen me struggle in the barn a little bit, climbing over the gates and all that. I, uh, am trying to Fort Knox my barn for lambs. <laughs> Separating lambs are really good at getting out. And so I've been trying to figure out how to convert my barn that's been set up for cows for years for containing lambs. So it's been a little bit um, tricky and I get things kind of set up and then I have more used lamb and I got to kind of change things and so yeah it's been interesting a learning experience and we're just going with it and we'll do better next year. We're headed back out to the barn. I think I got this guy warmed up. I'm not really sure how we got chilled, but see, he seems to be doing better. So, magic trick. Blow dryer works super, super good for warming up cold lamps. I've had two for two success with it. So now let's go see if this guy will suck his mama. 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 Mama.